If your hair is dark and thin and you have it cut short, it may work for you as it did for Matt Damon. Short dark hair looks thicker. Well, short doesn't mean extra short all over the head. You may get a slightly elongated top section and a nice, small quiff. If your hair is of normal density, and your hairline has just begun to recede, you may try medium short haircuts with point cut and style towards your forehead and to a side, like you and McGregor's. But as a rule, all the attempts to conceal a receding hairline fail. Another option is to wear a shave head or a buzz cut. Will Arnett goes his own way, accepting himself as he is and wearing his comfortable length in a neat slicked back men's hairstyle. Thinning hair doesn't mean you should wear only extra short hairstyles. Dominic Monaghan tries on a cut with elongated top and nape section and accurately trimmed edges. This variety lets him reveal the wispy texture of his hair that looks thin but very appealing. If your hair is relatively thin, meaning not extremely thin, remember the texture in a light curl make it appear thicker. Easton Corbin's haircut is very simple, but he always styles it with lots of texture. Texturizing pastes are the best in this relation. Here's one rule that works in style invariably, when you want to distract attention from something, attract it to something else. The razored finish for the ends in Kevin Aleandro's male cut immediately catches the eye. Apply some mousse and blow dry your hair upwards. Stylists often recommend a very short haircut for thin hair. Not necessarily an extra short buzz, but the shorter, the better. Aaron Eckhart follows this recommendation and gets a neat, professional look. Matthew McConaughey has already faced the problem of thinning hair and a receding hairline, but at the expense of curly texture his hairstyles still look cool. The style in the photo, however, is not his best option. The curls on top look great, but those at the back stick out awkwardly. The bottom line, commonly thin hair doesn't like gel. It's better to use pastes, mousses and waxes instead. Styling pastes enhance the texture of your hair and control the shape of your haircut. Benjamin McKenzie's hairstyle takes only a few minutes. Blow dry your hair away from your face and apply a bit of styling paste to your temples, smoothing them backwards. Then work some more product into your quiff, styling it with your fingertips up and backwards. Stephen Dorff's old hair style appears effortless and spontaneous. In case you like disheveled edgy looks, you need a haircut with point cut ends and a medium hold styling product. If your hair is thin and you want to style it in spikes, it shouldn't be too long on top. Tapered haircuts with the longest length at the quiff and neat sideburns are best men's haircuts for thinning hair with a receding hairline. Alexander Skarsgård has chosen the right cut and the flattering preppy style to match. Style your quiff with a lip at the roots.